purchasing organization procures materials and services, negotiates conditions of purchase with vendors, and is responsible for such transactions. In this video we'll now see how we can create a purchase organization in both SAP ECC and SAP S4HANA on-premise GUI versions and we will then see how we can assign a purchasing organization to a company code and also assign a purchasing organization to a plant. Sounds good? Then subscribe now to not miss any more videos and let's go. We navigate to transaction code OX08, that's OX08. Over here you can see that there are already some purchasing organizations existing in my system, however we will now create a new one via new entries. We need to provide an ID, which is alphanumeric, or can be alphanumeric, and up to four characters, so let's say ABC1 for instance, and a description, which can be up to 20 characters. This is a description, something like that, and this is basically it. Now we click on save. Before we assign our purchasing organization to a company code, some important remarks. A purchasing organization can be assigned to several company codes. This would be called a corporate group right purchasing. A purchase organization can also be assigned to only one company code if needed. This we call a company specific purchasing. Or a purchasing organization can also exist without being assigned to a company code. This is because in another customizing step we must assign our plans to company codes so that the purchasing organization can be determined not via the company code but also via the plant. So the plant would be in between the company code and the purchasing organization to link both to each other. Assigning the purchasing organization to a company code is done via transaction code OX01. So we go to slash n OX01. Now we scroll down until we see our purchasing organization ABC1. This is the one we just created. And now we can assign our company code over here. And that's basically it. You may see that the entries here are grayed out. So in this view we can actually only assign one company code to our purchasing organization. Or if we leave it out and do not assign a company code to our purchasing organization, then this purchasing organization ABC1 would be able to procure materials and services for all plants assigned to it, irrespectively of the company code to which the plant belongs to. And since the plant itself is also linked to the company code, the company code would be determined via the plant in each procurement transaction, even if the procuring purchasing organization is not assigned to the company code. Meaning that in this screen we either assign a company code and this would be a one-to-one -one mapping between the purchasing organization and the company code or if we leave it blank then this purchasing organization can procure for all the plants and the plants themselves are assigned to the company codes. This would be the case for the group-wide purchasing. Let's actually save this one as well. Now it's time for the third step to assign our purchasing organization to a plant. Here we also have three options. We can assign one purchasing organization to one plant. So this is what we call plant specific purchasing. We could also assign one purchasing organization to multiple plants. Or we can even assign multiple purchasing organizations to one plant. Let's actually inspect the transaction code OX17 slash N OX17. Then we click on new entries. We provide our purchasing organization that we created. And now we can assign it to either one plant. So this would be plant specific. Or we could even say we assign it to several plants. Or as a third case as said, we could even assign multiple purchasing organizations to the same plant. And let me actually save this. Yeah, and that's basically it. So now you've learned how to create a purchasing organization how to assign a purchasing organization to a company code or even company codes and how to assign a purchasing organization to a plant or even multiple plants. Many thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and also activate the bell. See you next time.